This is News 5 Sports with Jake Gated. The 45th edition of the Cannon game today between Pueblo South and Pueblo East was as spooky as it could get. Not only was the game changed to the day of Halloween, but the play on the field was scary good. Down to Dutch Clark Stadium we go, where the Colts look to keep that guy. It's going to be the Canyon for the second year in a row. We start midway through the first, no score. South QB Jace Bella firing a bullet to his favorite receiver, Luke Garienti. The senior gets the foot in for the score, 7-0 Colts. Then the second quarter, same score. Colts driving again, but Bella stepping up, overthrowing his receiver. It's Jackson Herring for the Eagles with the pick, but East would make nothing of it. So later in the second, Bella trying to make up for it, and he does it, finding Gary Enti again. This time, 32-yard touchdown, 14-0 Colts. Now to the third, South keeping the foot on the gas pedal. George Longoria blasts through the Eagle defense. The senior in for the 21-yard touchdown, 21-0 Colts. He had two touchdowns in the day. So East trying to get something to go. But you remember when Herring picked off Bella? Well, in the second, well, Bella returned the favor. A nice INT as it seals it for the win for South. Final score, 28-7 Colts as the cannon booms black. Still the same excitement once you win. Uh, winning is just... We take so much pride in everything we do, so we always love to win. Sometimes, you know, you gotta understand that it's times that we go through that are gonna be rough, but we have to be, we have to be able to adapt to those, and we did. I think there's a lot of cloud even for only a couple people, and I was very surprised. 